guys. We're, I'm getting the babies out. The baby chinchillas. Hello, hello, everyone. Please tap the screen. Mama Ophelia just got some fresh hay. Oh, these babies are they're doing great. Everyone, please tap the screen. Alright. There's a baby. This litter was born Friday at uh, 2.30. How's everyone doing? It's got a beautiful white tail, really unique markings. That's a girl. She was born second. Let me grab the other one. This is an ebony mosaic because it's black and white. She was born first. And then this one was born second. And then the other baby I had to move to the other mom to nurse. So I'll show you the third. That one's with Mama Ophelia. Um, Mama Ophelia was having, oh, Mama Savannah's got the other baby, sorry. Mama Ophelia was having a hard time nursing the three. So I moved the little boy to Savannah. And they're doing great. Hi, Chris. So now uh, Mama Ophelia is only nursing two. And then Mama Savannah is nursing two as well. Even though she only had one. Thank you for following. If you guys are new to watching, these guys were born Friday, 2.30. This one was born first. The ebony mosaic. No, it happens sometimes. The babies were fighting um, over mommy's milk. And then um, once I saw them fighting, I decided to make the decision, since um, Savannah was only nursing one, to definitely move a baby over. So, you can do that. And now nobody's fighting. Everyone's got enough milk. But if I would have left all three together... You know, it could or could have not been a good or bad thing. So, I just went with my gut and moved the male over. The male was the biggest. I moved it over to Savannah. She gladly took that baby in. And I left the two girls with Ophelia. <laughs> you guys are new here. Go ahead and give me a follow. I might go live with my chinchillas. I do playpen time. I go live with my rescues. And if you already have, I appreciate your follow. <laughs> you guys could tap the screen. That would be nice. Diana, thank you for sharing the live. So nice. Betty Lou, thanks for following. But now all the babies are comfortable. Everyone's getting enough food. You guys look at that one with his leg up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. But these guys weren't running around too crazy. I'll probably do another live when they run around more. But right, you, just, you hit them at different times. Either they're nursing under her or they're running around. So, alright, I'm going to move over to Mama Savannah. You guys, give me one minute. I'm going to close this cage. And then we'll move over to Savannah. Alright. Alright, so Savannah, this was her baby, Black Beauty, right there. It's a little girl. That's the only baby she had. And then she fostered this baby. Because mom was, uh, I, I don't know about struggling to feed them all, but she was struggling uh, to give them all the amount they wanted. So I went ahead, come here big boy. And decided to take the biggest one and put it with her. And the baby's doing well. I did that uh, last night. I did that. There's Black Beauty. Excuse me, kids, stop. Um, this is her original baby. Sorry, my kids think they're funny when I'm on live. They're going to be all silly and jokey. 
And then this is Mama Ophelia's baby that Savannah took in. She gladly took that baby in, guys. Didn't you, Savannah? She's a good mama. Everyone, thank you for following. See how sweet she is? They're both sweet. But so, now she's got two babies. But it's an even number. Um, chinchillas, I uh, usually only have so many boobies to feed off of. So, feeding three is rough. Some moms can take it like a champ. Some moms can't. So, I figured she only has one. So, <laughs> look how sweet she's being. Yeah. So, we got the little boy from Ophelia. See, she's already, he is already talking to her. Alright, and then let me grab Black Beauty. <laughs> They're chinchillas, Carlos. Sorry, I was just laughing at the sounds. Listen to this. Aww. He'll already talk to her. Watch. <laughs> They're doing really well, guys. Thanks for sharing the live. Hold on one sec. I'm going to open this cage for a sec. Um, her litter was born Sunday in the morning. If you guys are new to watching. This was her original baby. She only had one. Thank you. She had um, this extra dark ebony. It's a little girl. And then I had another litter that was born on Friday. And mom was struggling to um, feed them all a bit. Oop. So she adopted. She's the, the new foster, whatever, foster mom. She's the new mommy. So. But I gave her the biggest one out of the triplets. It's weird, guys, because I have another chinchilla that had quads. Fed them all, and I didn't have to pull one. They were all fat as can be. But sometimes... These guys, um, you know, they can struggle. God knows I couldn't feed triplets. Oh, my God. It's a lot of work. But as you can see, look, he's taken right to her. That's his new mommy. Mama Savannah. But um, I do sometimes move chinchillas, babies around to different moms when it's needed. Once in a while, you'll have a chinchilla mom that um, may not have any milk. And then if I don't have any moms, then I'm hand feeding them. But it's much better for them to be uh, feeding from another mom than me hand feeding them. Adopted mother, right, Chris? And Black Beauty's adopted well to her new brother. <laughs> She's so pretty. Look how shiny she is. And she's so chill out of all the babies right now. She will let me always hold her and everything. You went down, you want to go explore? I just gave the mom some fresh hay. Oh no, Dale, the fathers are really great with the moms. But the problem is if I leave the dad in with the moms, after the moms give birth, they're very fertile. So they'll backbreed, and I don't want to do that to them. But I've left a dad in there before just as an experiment to see, and they're so good with the babies. It's so sweet. Maybe one of these days I'll let a mom that's super, super healthy going with like say if um, the mom just had one baby and leave the male in there but I, I try not to do that very often like I have quite I do breed guys I breed my chinchilla hurt and I take in rescues but like I have a bunch of females out on maternity leave hang on one two got about five right now on maternity leave 
MJ, thanks for following. They're not super lightly right now, guys, but I'll probably do one more live tonight. I'm not going to do playpen time today, guys. I'm sorry I was out Christmas shopping all day. And where I live, it's so cold right now. I went out Christmas shopping with my mom, and after like three hours, we were like, it's done, because it's just way too cold. And we didn't even get half the kids' Christmas gifts done. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah, for following. See, he's alright. He loves his mommy. Savannah's really cute because she puts like her paws on her babies. Like when her her first baby was born, she had her paw on it like this. I know, aren't they cute? But all the little babies are healthy. Everyone's getting what they need. So. And he was like the boss. The milk hog in the other litter. That's why I decided to pull him. She is a good mama. She's even great for taking that baby in. But that they, they do fight guys a bit from the nipples. They do. <laughs> See? Come here, you. This one, yesterday, was like biting its mom and going crazy on everyone. That's why I moved it to over here. Because they both can nurse and then come out, whoever's sleeping and eating. But this is Milk Hog, the boss of the triplets. <laughs> He's just big chilling. He's just sitting on my hand like a little perch. Yeah, he is. But he was real feisty with his mom. I've never seen a baby from Chilla like he was lunging at his other mom. It was like crazy. Uh, Colin, it's a mosaic. And then the one under mom's an extra dark ebony. But as he gets bigger, he'll probably tend to get more in the whitish color, the whitish end. Or he'll still keep a little gray on him. Just depends. Um, this is Savannah. She had an extra dark ebony on Sunday. And then she adopted one of Mama Ophelia's babies. Uh, she was struggling to feed all three. So she, this is his new mommy. And she took to him very greatly. The triplets were doing lots of fighting yesterday during, um, okay, this one is a boy. That one's a boy. He's a mosaic. And then the one under here is nursing. I don't want to take it out. It's an extra dark ebony. You can see it's black tailed. It's the, all the whole entire color. See? Just pure black. Thank you, Aline. Thank you for the rose. But she's really good with her new baby, so I was happy about that. I came down a couple times last night, and then this morning when I got up, and they were all uh, underneath her nursing, so... But this ain't the first time I've had to move um, baby chinchillas around in a large litter. They're just chilling. And then Mama Ophelia, she's just nursing her other two, which they're under her. But maybe in my next live, guys, they'll be out more. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Did you get mommy's nipples? Is that what she barking at you? There's Black Beauty. Oh. oh. And a little hay. But she's so gorgeous, shiny. I mean, beautiful chin. Elaine, thank you. 
Black Beauty is a girl. Yep. She's gorgeous. I had some extra dark ebony's born. Well, they went to their new homes maybe like a month ago. They weren't as dark as her. She's really pretty. Yeah, I got one of their mom. Oh, I always got baby chinchillas. Hold on. Give me a minute. These babies are older. I'll show them to you. Alright. Hang on. I gotta move my chair over, guys. These are Mama Mary's babies. They're four weeks old. Hold on. Give me a minute. I always have stuff to move around. Okay. Let me get her cage open. Her babies are four weeks old. Yeah, Colin. Uh, yes, you can. Um, my email is located in there, and you can just message me. Hers are four weeks old. Mama Mary. Oh God, you're fat. Here's a fat boy. Mama Mary. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna put the phone down. I have to put her in the playpen. Nope, they didn't in the live. They were all climbing over the screen. Okay, they're just standard gray girls. They'll still be nursing with mom for a couple weeks. I haven't weighed them, but I think they were just a little over 100 grams. So I separate from mom around 200 grams, eight weeks. And also, depending on how independent they are, these guys have been eating out of the food dish, too. Mm hmm but they're pretty friendly. This is the fat one. You're the fat girl. I just call them babies. Some I give names to. Oh my god, you guys are jumping all over my phone. They're like, what's up, Doc? Get back. Here, go play in your chew toy, fat one. I need to get a wheel in here for them. Let me see where I put that portable wheel. I'll have to get the portable wheel out. Because these guys will be running on it. Dude, sit still. I don't know how long this light will be because they're being everywhere. Thank you, Aline. Quit sending me gifts. mama for following well um i probably will jackie on my next live i just showed them and really there's nothing to see the moms are all the babies are all nursing under mom right now so all right guys i'm gonna get off of here put mama back in here and i'll be back in a little while with ophelia savannah so you guys can see them and if you guys are new here please follow i'll be back later thank you get back